Stephen Ragnar, el vicepresidente global de desarrollo de productos nuevos de Ford Motor Company durante el debut del Ford Mustang 2015. Thank you very much for having us here. Finally, the Mustang is here. We've been seeing it all over the place, uh, on the top of the Empire State Building and the Auto Show, so finally it's here, huh? Yeah, well, we're glad to finally get you guys into the vehicle and get a chance to drive it, and we're really proud of the vehicle. We've been waiting for this for a long time. I know you guys have been waiting for yeah, a long time And, and as your well. customers, too, more importantly, And the customers right? as well to, you know, celebrate the 50-year 50, 50 anniversary of the original Mustang, and we think we've uh, celebrated that very well with the best Mustang we've ever done. Yeah, I understand. I mean, I've heard your presentation. I've been talking to some of the engineers in the past uh, weeks and months. Mm -hmm. The amount of work that one in, goes into developing this car is just amazing. I mean, like the sound, the materials, the design, everything, right? Yeah, well, we sweat all the details. Um, I mean, it's a, an incredible engineering ballet to do a new development program of an of a automobile. Um, you know, the, the, the amount of project management, the amount of engineering and research that goes into the background, the industrialization of that uh, technology, um, the marketing research, all, of, all yeah. of that that's involved in the development of a program is quite an undertaking. But when it's a Mustang, it's that much more pressure. Yeah, uh, you, have to, you have to get it right, you especially have to get the 50th right. anniversary, yeah, right? Yeah, you don't want to be uh, the guy that messes up the Mustang. <laughs> exactly. So I guess the final product is the, the thing that makes everybody proud. But, I mean, there are, like, so many little things that I was talking to the engineer here about the little details that they do into yeah. the engine. Like, they said, take months and just, like, try and try and try and make it better, more efficient, more powerful. Yeah, I would say something that takes months is actually being done very quickly, right? Uh, much of the work that's being done, development of a twin, the twin scroll turbocharger, right, was... Um, you know, multi-year effort to, to get that technology ready for production. Um, and so, yeah, we started this project about four years ago um, and, you know, put together a, a select hand-picked team, uh, not just for their technical capability, but uh, a team that we felt had that emotional connection to Mustang and would felt, uh, we felt that would honor the heritage and, and continue the tradition of uh, the American icon that it is. Yeah. So... Three engines for this uh, for this uh, edition, right? For this uh, model. Three yeah. engines, and uh, I think it's a great example of uh, the dedication to make sure we had a great performance vehicle. That all three engines are more than 300 horsepower. Uh, so the the base engine, the 3.7 liter V6, is more than 300 horsepower. The the 2.3 liter EcoBoost uh, at 310 horsepower yet uh, delivers 32 miles per gallon on the highway, and then of course. Uh, our 5-liter V8, uh, which has been part of our heritage for a long time, but now at 435 horsepower, which is the most horsepower we've ever had in a Ford GT. So a great lineup of engines. Yeah. The EcoBoost uh, technology, though, is like the, the big success for the whole company. In every, in every model, pretty much, that you have put that engine, it's been a huge success, right? Yeah, we put a, a lot of investment into that technology in EcoBoost, and you know, we built more than 2 million uh, EcoBoost engines globally now and it, the technology has really paid off for us and whether it's the, the new 2.3 uh, in this application, brand new, our, our one liter engine, which is one international engine of the year three years in a row, which has That's never amazing, been done, yeah. right? So we're really pleased with the, the technology and the implementation and more importantly, the acceptance by the customer. Yeah. And uh, you're wearing your uh, Ford Racing shirt uh, tonight, and, and that's for a reason. I mean, Ford has been always involved into this, but uh, in the recent years, it seems like as the company does better, more more things go into racing too. Yeah, well, racing's in our DNA. I mean, it's in our blood. Um, and in some, some respects, the company was founded on that first race that Henry Ford won in sweepstakes. And... Um, So I think racing is important for our, for our brand image as, as well as uh, our own uh, corporate pride, uh, as well as, uh, you know, it really still is a great training ground for our engineers and a great proving ground for many of the technologies that we're bringing into the vehicle. Yeah. And uh, speaking of technologies, the new app uh, that you, you debuted today with the, with the Mustang actually it takes you to the racetrack, <laughs> which is something really cool, I think. That's one of the features I love on it, that uh, it's got a racetrack finder that uh, will actually find the, the racetrack closest to your location. So for a Mustang owner, I think that's going to come in very handy. Yeah, especially <laughs> because, I mean, you want to race it, but you have to do it safely on the road. So Absolutely. The, the best place to do it is on a racetrack. Huh? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So finally, uh, two models, of course, like the Fastback and the convertible what are the schedule for like customers to start looking for them at the dealerships well we'll have the uh, the fastbacks uh, in the dealerships this autumn and uh, convertibles in the dealerships at the end of the year
Excellent. Well, thank you very much for your time again, and I can wait till tomorrow to go and drive the car. Great. Enjoy yourself. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting. Thank you.